Yo, what's up guys, Old School Dan here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about how old school guys trained abs. Did they do did they do weighted exercises or did they do body weight or did they do Roman chairs or did they do sit-ups or what kind of exercises they did or how did they maintain that small, tiny waist? Um, we're gonna discuss that all in today's video. Let's get started. All right, so how did they train their abs? Did they do weighted exercises or did they do body weight exercises? It was usually body weight. Um, if you ever see my other video about Frank Zane's advice on abs, it talked about how Tom Platts said he saw Frank Zane doing sit-ups for an hour. And then my other video about Surgeon DeBray's ab routine, he used to do 2,000 sit-ups every day and it would take him about an hour. And that's how a lot of the old school guys train abs. They train them with extremely high volume. Arnold said it was a minimum of 500 rep Roman chairs. And another thing, if you haven't read Vince Gerana's The Wild Physique book, in the book, under ab training, there you will see an exercise. And the exercise for abs is the vacuum. You know, it's where you suck in your stomach into your rib cage and hold it there. That works your abs too. That's how a lot of the old school guys were able to maintain that tiny waist with those extremely muscular bodies. And if you've noticed, um, a lot of these bodybuilders nowadays don't do vacuums and look at their waist. You know, even their their abs, they pop out. Like, what is that? Like Arnold said, you know, like the bodybuilders nowadays, they, they have this bottle shaped. You know, it's not like, it's no longer a V taper. They look like a bottle. And another thing, the old school guys didn't hit their obliques too much. That's how they maintain their small waist because if you get your obliques to grow, it's going to ruin your V taper. And when you're building your classic physique, you wanna make sure you're working on your upper and lower abs. You wanna keep those obliques tight sort of underdeveloped but ripped i mean there's other things you want to you know pay attention to like you know your intercostals and you know getting your psoriasis to pop out to really give you that old school look but that's another story but if you're wondering what exercises the old school guys did for abs it was roman chairs leg raises leg raises with the knee bent crunches broomstick twists cable crunches lion leg raises vacuums and stuff like that and of course, with high volume and high repetitions. And that's basically how they did it. So I hope this answers someone's video suggestion. I don't remember who you are. I'm sorry, but thank you for the video suggestion. It was a good one. I'm pretty sure other people had that same question as well. But with that being said, subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. This is Old School Dan checking out. Peace.